Man, the days are getting so short now. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So when you have a beater or a thrasher, if you will, you're probably going to drive it like you stole it. And that means you're probably going to wreck it. And for that reason, I have a bunch of spare bumpers. So if something were to go down and I mess up the bumper or any one of the bumpers front or back, I want to be able to take them off and put a new one on right away. So what I'm going to do is once I paint the car, I'm going to paint them all the same color, but I'm going to be adding these quick releases to the sides so that I can just take them off at the press of a button. So the way these things work is that this bolt right here goes bolted down to your car and then this button right here goes onto your bumper so basically all you'll see is that face right there and when you want to take it off all you have to do is press the button and it comes off so this would be your bumper this stays on your car so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the front one today because the rear one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take the rear wheel off to get to those bolts right there and in the front I can just turn the wheel so I don't have to take any of the wheels off, jack it up, or anything like that. So we're gonna work on the front today and the back tomorrow. And yes, as you can see, I went ahead and voted early. Um, if you guys can go out on election day or even before then, you should definitely exercise your right to vote. It's very important for this country, so get out there and do your part. All right, so the bumper was actually only zip tied on both sides and the tabs aren't even broken, so I don't know why. But anyways, I'm thinking I'm going to drill the hole for them right underneath this fender bolt right there. So dark right there. That way I can try to get it as high as I can. All right, so basically I installed it without putting the nut or washer on this side of it, but I got it all fixed now. So you have to leave it pretty far out. Um, now that it's out, I'm gonna put a dab of toothpaste on here, put the bumper where it's supposed to go. I don't know where it keeps catching, but once I do that, then it can come up. So I'm gonna put the bumper right where it's supposed to go and then the toothpaste will tell me where I have to drill from the inside out. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll get drilling so we can start installing our little button. So as you guys can see, it made a dot. I wonder if you guys can see it. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling there and then we'll use the Christmas tree bit to make the hole bigger to be able to fit the button and then we'll thread the nut and I think we should be done. Alright so I just drilled my hole and the bolt came out and the fitment is perfect so no sagging or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Christmas tree bit and make this bigger and get the button on there Alright, so as you guys can see, first one is on there, so if I want to take the bumper off right now, it won't come off. If I want to take it off, I just press this, 
and then it comes right out. So I just went ahead and backed the nut off and then used some of this orange uh, thread lock. So this is basically hard like the red and removable like the blue, which I don't know when I'm gonna have to remove them. So might as well not use something that's gonna have me struggling to remove it. So yeah, it's good to go now. It's not moving anywhere. So we're good on this side. And that's gonna do it for today. Cause as you can see, it already got dark on us. So we're gonna go inside and we'll catch you guys in the morning. All right guys, next day here. Yes, I have pink hair because it is Melanie's Wacky Wednesday at school today. So we painted her hair pink and I told her that I would do mine as well. So we got one side done yesterday and it looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get this other side knocked out. Okay, so both sides are done on the front and now it's time to get cracking on the rear. So working on the back here, I got these clips in there off. Um, and now the center is loose, but I can see under the tail light that there's some clips under there too. So I have to remove the tail lights and then get to the clips under them. And to remove the tail lights, it's just these four uh, eights that you see here. Um, I think they're eights, they might be sevens. I don't know, I have an eight right here and it'll grab, but it's kind of loose. So it might be a seven, I don't know. I'm just gonna send it with this eight. Um, I don't know what the heck is going on with this wire, but it's kind of weird. It comes all the way here. I don't know what the heck is wrong with the wiring in this car, but that's an issue to be covered another day. This glue or gasket that they use for these tail lights is brutal. Um, it grabs on very tight and it can get very messy. So as you can see, one, two, three more clips on the side. So I'm gonna take these out and then go on to the other side.
All right, so I got them done both sides in the center. Like I said, the top is loose now. Um, and there was actually five bolts for the tail lights. There's actually one hidden back there. So five on each side. And then now we have to do these bottom ones. So all of these right here, we got to get them all off. So let's go ahead and do that. So top and bottom are done. Now it's time to work on the side. Um, luckily I don't have to remove the wheel because the nut is like right here and I can get it with the socket I just tried. Um, and the other thing, I was like, oh man, I screwed myself with these floor mats. I do have to take them off because they're screwed on to not only the bumper but the car. But luckily I'm able to get a wrench or a socket on this Phillips right here and then it'll just pop right out. So I got the bumper completely off. Um, the only thing holding it on right now is the wires hold, or that connect the tag lights. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do about that to change it so that they don't stay on the bumper but they stay on the car. Um, and then on this side, it's completely off too. So I started picking away at this and the rust isn't that bad on this car. Like, I feel like because of this, it looks a lot worse than it is. but. I mean, for a bucket, it's actually in really good condition. My fear was finding too much rust here to where I wouldn't be able to drill and put the little bolt through here and not have anything stable, but I'm literally pulling on the whole car right there. And this thing is, this thing is stout. I mean, perfect for drilling. So no worries there. Like I said, I want to find out what I can do to move the tag lights so they can stay on the car and not the bumper. And then the bumpers will be fully removable after that. But for now, we're just going to do the side pins. Um, I'm going to leave, actually on the top, I don't think I'm going to leave anything because getting in here might be hard. Either that or I'll put some better clips because these, I mean, these are good if you're not going to be removing it often. But getting a screwdriver all the way in here, like at an angle, it's just not the move. So I'm going to put some easier ones in there. So there you guys have it, front and rear are done. So whenever I need to swap the bumper, I just come and it comes right out. And then same thing with the front and just come, it comes right off. So it's very easy to swap parts on it now. So that's good. So I'm glad I got this thing ready to go cra I'm crash. Um, in the event that I crash, when I take this thing out, to go thrashing um, it's easy to replace the bumper hopefully I don't crash though and I don't have to use them but you know it's nice to be able to take the bumper off easily on a car like this um, the buttons don't even look that bad I will paint them green once I get the car like the bodywork done on the car and 
and obviously the paint I'll color match them so you won't even really be able to see them and it'll be nice and sleek so super stoked on that I just I think I want to buy more of those little buttons so I can put some on the front and rear bumper I have right there and that way you know I don't have to take them off of these and put them on the new ones when I'm swapping everything over it can just be tearing this out put it in the other one in and good to go but I will say this I'm not keeping well I am keeping these bumpers um, the Impreza L or I believe they're like they came on the 98 RS's or something like that um, I am keeping those but I am switching to a different style bumper and it's not your typical bumper so stay tuned on that you guys are gonna be stoked this thing is gonna look completely different next week we're gonna be working on throwing some RS side skirts on this thing because with the rear spats right here it kind of looks weird like the middle of the car so we're gonna get some well i already have the side skirts but we're gonna be throwing them on next week so stay tuned on that we got a lot of stuff coming on this car as well as this car too like i said we have this swap that we still need to dive into on this car which we will hear shortly we just have a bunch of little projects going on right now i want to get all the body work done on the coupe and then i want to dive into doing the swap on this because what i'm gonna do for now is everything out of this car is going on to the coupe so the 2.5 and the RS 5-speed transmission out of this is going in the coupe because that one is super slow right now and it's not running right. Um, so yeah, everything from this car is going on that, including subframes and diff and everything because this thing is getting a full-blown STI conversion, which I have everything. Got the motor right there. Front and rear subframes are right there. The diff is over there. And the transmission is right there. So like I said, a lot of GC8 content coming your way. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of that. And also make sure you smash that like button on this video because it helps the channel a ton. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.